guys, look guys, today we are going to watch how the universe is way bigger than you think. And the thing is, universe is one concept that is very fascinating to me. So, I would love to ask you, like, what do you think about this question? I think if we talk about universe, so it's, uh, we have like planets hmm. and like our solar system and we know some galaxies. Hmm. Yeah, because we, you know, often talk about Milky Way this and that. So, I think this is the universe. Hmm. But this video is about how universe is way bigger than you think. Oh. So, I think so it will be very, very fun to watch. And also, like, of course, I have also seen like how, how many galaxies are there. And like, the thing is, it is big. But what is the actual numbers? Because in the army video also, you said like 5, 10,000. And I yeah. said like, okay, there will be more. more but yeah. I never imagined to the extent at which those were. That because those crazy. were in just millions and millions. Because imagining in wars like uh, we hear that okay soldiers are killed like 10 soldiers 20 soldiers and even that number hurts me a lot mm. and like imagining millions is crazy so now let's watch this video this is earth you live here on this planet somewhere and everything that you've ever known is located right here but just how small exactly is earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe oh. Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic uh, neighbor, the moon. moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies. But in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance. And if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire wow. distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest that away that crazy. any individual human I has ever been away from the Earth, yeah. and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. So and if beautiful. you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half what seconds to travel for? between you know? and them, like since that's how fast the yeah. speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. Whoa! On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as I high as 401 so million yeah. kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars just back to Earth isn't dog. just two and a half seconds, it's actually oh. more like 20 minutes 20 each direction. Minutes which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. Oh, when we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, AU, AU. meaning astronomical unit, okay. which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times oh, further away from us than the Sun God. is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. <gasps> It may not Whoa! look like much at first, what but in my lines? opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot this is, is Earth, and I don't think we that anybody like has ever said something as amazing about this as... What cool. is oh. that photo? Wow! Like, all of us, like my family, your family, everything we know, my history, your history... It's, it's just stars, this. you know, it's just some, you, you went to, you know, see the northern lights and you are seeing like a big star. Over yes, there. actually it's it is like, like that. that. And what are these flares and why, where are all the other planets? But our earth is so small. But you, you told me the lights are not real, like. Yeah, these the are actually air. gases and like, yeah. it is just a reflection, but still it is so beautiful and it's like so it is. so tiny. <laughs> My God, everything that I am going to do in future and everything will just be on this thing. Yeah. Wow. So small. Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. Wow. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The oh, aggregate of so all so our now. joys and sufferings. Actually. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and every father, 
every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Whoa! Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun sun, but it's still 4.24 Four light, light years, years away from it. us. Oh, to put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other oh. words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, oh. and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. Oh. When we zoom out oh. even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 Now I just feel so, so small yeah. and everything just does not... I cannot comprehend the amount of things we have. And you know how I believe that, okay, there, there, there are aliens. There are 100% aliens. But there is no chance we will ever meet them because if going to that the closest star will take us so many years, even with rocket fuel and everything, then how can we ever reach them or how can they ever reach us and if we ever we reach them, then how will we ever come back? I think if they reach, but we won't. Like, we won't witness it. And, you know, a few years back, like, I uh, uh, put a, a huge, like, a world map on, on the wall of my room just to, just to see that the world is huge and my problems are tiny. I don't know if this is making sense or not, but I did that. To make my feel there are so many countries, just to look at that. But now I want this picture of galaxy and everything to see that Earth is so small. Yeah, even Earth's problems are very small. Yeah. Billion <laughs> stars and over 100 billion 100 planets billion stars, inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region that. right here. But even this oh massive galaxy God. is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies. Wow! A of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. Oh. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups this? of galaxies oh just like God. our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo even this is, small? is nothing but a quiet oh, and tiny lobe of the like Great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years. Whoa. But from even there, we can zoom out Shut all up. the way to I the mean, entire observable it's universe and ending. see that even the Titanic Laniakea oh, supercluster God. is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. Oh, this so is the observable of universe, things. and it yeah. contains everything that we know oh. of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. Oh the distance God. from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years. 
which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. And there's, there's What's perhaps coming, but... even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. I don't want to know! Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly My ever imagine. God. We simply oh. don't know what else is out there, because the light from these crazy. incredibly <laughs> distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that oh. means that the light from these places will, will never, never come in an to infinite us. amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning oh. that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we this will never know so about scary. or ever see. Oh. So, it is very what? likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. Oh According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Cosmic Alan Guth, inflation. if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 30 seventh of a second after the Big what? Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion what is times sextillion? larger than the observable what universe. What is sextillion? That number for reference looks like this, with this what? many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, oh and that's a similar God. situation to this. We are all universe. so unbelievably small, so but you small. shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover oh. together. My mind is blown. My God, even though like I search about it, this is this video was amazing because Observable universe is also a tiny part of the sextillion universe. What is sextillion? You are using sex word everywhere, I think so. Now, because in words, I remember like trillion, billion, million. That was enough. But now you have sextillion. I think uh, I, I am kind of aware about these kind of words because I think <clears throat> I think so these guys that are in a lack of words now, they're using sex in it. But oh my god, this is crazy. Like, you know, all the embarrassment, guilt, the, the complaints and everything we have in our life. We, you know, we, uh, we think about the embarrassment or, or the moments, awkward moments, and we take guilt and we are so ashamed of it. I think nothing matters. Now, I think so we should be live like carefree, like anything. I can now scream out of the window. I can do anything because nothing matters at all. Actually, and everything will just be dust only. There is no point. And like, where will we go? What will happen? Where is God? Nothing. You cannot see because... If it's so huge and like our rockets and our planes look very, very fast if you see from normal eyes. But when they go out in space, they are like like tiny bits like they can never ever yeah. reach. If the fastest plane also fastest jet also goes to it, it will take thousands and thousands of years to just reach the nearest star. So what is the point of doing all this? Like we are not in those Star Wars thing. In yeah. Star Wars, we see that, okay, they can travel light speed. If we ever can do that, I don't know. Even then, like... Uh, the other star was four light years away so even for light it takes four years to so, travel yeah, yeah so even if we have the f if a light year jet then also it will take us four years to go there and that place that was the observable universe is 950 trillion years and that can never be reached I don't know what is happening and like how how we can ever be it like I know for 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 a fact like in my life we will be never be able to do that. Like, do you believe in aliens or what? Do you yes. think they are hundred percent? If it is this big, they are hundred percent. That aliens. could be possibility, but what are the people have seen like UFOs and all? Do you believe in that or just a conspiracy theory? Not the theory? UFOs, not the UFOs, but I believe in aliens. But yeah. like it is so scary. If we are alone, then it is so scary. Like alone in what? Like if Earth is alone. Oh no, it feels so empty, you know, yeah. it's like you're sitting alone in, in like a dark room because space is dark, of course. Yeah, if all the, like in all like 150 observable universe also, if we are alone, 
the only <gasps> livable things oh my god i have always this huge complaint about the population and all but i am feeling like we are so less like in yeah, the whole universe just have babies more and more and send them to mars so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.